Hi everybody, it's Carolina from Rose Sperling Paint Company and today we are back in the garage. We will be talking about painter's tape. And um, tape is a very simple tool that can make a huge difference in your paint job. And that difference can be spending hours on your hands and knees scrubbing or touching up we're spending a little bit of time at the beginning of your project to tape everything up, whether that's the windows, the floor, um, baseboards, anything like that. But tape isn't just tape. There are a lot of choices. So today I wanted to go through some of the tapes that we have um, so that when you're shopping online or if you're coming to the store, you can make a better decision about the tape that you need. We are going to start with the basics. Uh, this yellow tape is just a regular old masking tape. If you leave this on for longer than a day, it will start to tear when you take it off. However, um, this is a great inexpensive tape if you want to glue some paper down to the floor, um, if you need to tape some plastic sheeting to the wall, if you want to um, stick together some sheeting when you're wrapping up furniture. This is going to be your basic go-to regular old masking tape. It's not very expensive, it's really budget friendly, but if you do use it to tape up um, your windows or your floors, just remember that you will have to take this off pretty quickly. Otherwise, when you try to remove it, it's going to tear and you're going to be there scraping with your fingernails. Um, regular old masking tape. The second tape I wanted to talk to you about is blue tape. Uh, blue painter's tape comes in a variety of widths. This is a two inch. Um, and this can be left on for about a week without tearing. So if you're going to be doing uh, your baseboards, for example, at home, and you want to tape up the floor and the wall, you can do a couple of coats of paint over a few days without worrying that the tape will tear when you try to take it off. So this is your basic all-purpose two-week painter's tape. Now the next tape I want to talk about, um, it makes it a little bit of confusing because it is also blue in color, but if you look really, really closely, there's a little um, green strip on the inside. I will also put the number of this tape, the part number, um, down below here so you can find it easily if you're shopping online. But this is a tape designed for sharp lines and corners. Now in the next video I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how to get really sharp crisp lines with this tape even on Bermuda stone walls um, which can be a little bit bumpy. Um, but we're just going to talk about this really quickly now. The tape for sharp lines has a polymer in it and the polymer reacts with the latex resins in the paint. The resins wake up the polymer and it helps the tape stick to your surface better without getting all that bleed under. Um, so this is great for any sort of latex house paint. Most house paints these days are latex um, that you'll be using for your DIY project. But make sure you stay tuned next week because next week I'm going to be doing a little stripe sample on the walls on the garage. Uh, I'm going to apologize to my husband later. <laughs> um, but we'll be using this tape to get super sharp lines, so stay tuned for that tip. The next tape I have is this delicate surface tape. It's a very light purple color. This is the tape that you're going to use if you will be sticking it to something that is delicate or freshly painted. So going back to our baseboard example, um, if you're going to be painting your baseboards today and taping them up so you can paint your wall tomorrow, you would use this delicate surface tape. It's not very sticky. So when you remove it off of something that is freshly painted, it won't damage your paint job. It's this purple delicate surface tape. Now the last tape I want to talk about um, is this one. Also a little confusing. It's also yellow just like the regular all-purpose masking tape. Um, but this 3M tape is for exterior surfaces. 
So you'll notice that it sticks much better. This has this highest kind of tackiness level to it. It's also a little plasticky feeling. So it will stretch a little bit easier around corners and edges, or if you're trying to make a curve. Um, this is great if you're doing your outside window frames, if you want to protect them when you're painting the wall, um, outside doors. We also use this a lot on the boats. So when you're painting your boat bottom and you're taping up the water line, this is the tape that we would recommend. Not only, again, is it plasticky, so it makes the turn around the boat a little bit easier, it also doesn't tear when it comes off. And you can also leave this tape on for about two weeks. So if you're working on your boat over a period of time, you don't have to worry about this tape being exposed to the elements, uh, the sun, and the rain. It will come off cleanly um, even outside after that time. So that is the exterior yellow tape not to be confused with the masking tape. So I hope that helps you make a better decision when you're picking out the tape for your next project. Um, again, it really is worth spending a little bit more time in the beginning of your project. And I know it's tedious because it's one of those things that I absolutely hate doing. Um, but when you use tape to mask off things you don't wanna get paint on, it really does save you a ton of time and clean up later. Um, so make sure that you watch again next week when I will be using the sharp lines tape to paint some sharp stripes on the walls in the garage. Happy painting!